Welcome back, Like With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, on today's video, we are going to tell you what are the 13 things that you cannot forget to do one week before your cruise. Yes, indeed. Let's get into it. Number one, secure your travel documents, organize them, put them in like a folder or somewhere where it's going to be safe, where you can see that you have your birth certificate, if that's what you're traveling with, your passport. Well, don't put your license in there yet if you're trying to drive that week. Right. <laughs> but make sure all of your stuff is together so that you can grab it and make sure that you keep it on you until you get on board. Number two, you don't want to forget to download the Countable Hub app at this point. Right now, stop everything you're doing <laughs> and go ahead and download that yes. app. You don't want to be like I was on my last cruise. I forgot to download it. You know, that one week before and I got on the ship and I forgot about it and she's the only one that had it. Because she did hers and I didn't of do mine. Of course I did. So, download it. Everything <laughs> is on the app. Yeah. Number three, call your bank, your financial institution and let them know of your travel plans. If you have a travel card, most of the time you don't have to call them. I always do because I just wanted to be on file yeah. that I'm such and such place. Exactly. And if you see such and such activity, it's, it's me. me. <laughs> <laughs> just in case they flag your account for possible fraud because they see some activity that's not of your norm. The fourth thing you don't want to forget is to stop your mail. Because mm. this is very important because if your mailbox starts to fill up, especially if you get your mail at your house in your mailbox, that's a great indication that you're not home and you know we don't need them kind of problems. You know at what I'm saying? All. So go ahead and get that mail stopped. The fifth thing to do is to go ahead and go into your bank. I know we, you, we don't like to go into the bank no more. I know I know. <laughs> but go ahead and get your single bills out for tipping and whatnot. Get the smallest amount of bills that you can get because when you go into a port or different places like that, they will act like they don't have enough change to give you some <laughs> money back. So make sure that you have your dollars, your $5 bills, so that you're ready to tip away. Yeah, man. So. The sixth thing that you don't want to forget to do, which you should have been already doing anyway mm -hmm. a week prior, is connecting with Facebook groups. So you make sure you will go back into those groups or get into the group and make sure you find out mm -hmm. what they got going on on the ship any meetups, anything that they're gonna do to have fun. We did the last time we were on our so cruise. Fun. It was so fun, the game that we played. So we definitely looking forward to doing something similar to that this time, well, next month when we travel. Yeah. yeah. So if you didn't know by now, I'm about to tell you. I'm also a travel agent. So if you need someone to book your cruise or you got a little group cruise going on, I'm your girl. Yes, indeed. www.codefuntravel, that'll be all linked below. And also, I'm getting this question a lot. I've already booked my cruise, but I still need help. I can take over your booking under certain circumstances. Just email me at codefuntravel at gmail.com. I got you. Yes, indeed. Number seven, print your boarding passes, your luggage tags and everything, and not only print them, but look at them fairly. Make sure that there are, any, there are not any inconsistencies across any of your documentation because this is a time where you need to get that stuff straight. Also, if your name on your boarding pass, your luggage tags, all that is gonna be different than your identification and your birth certificate or all that information or the documentations, make sure you bring supporting documentation of why your name is different. For instance, if you got married and your driver's license is, haven't been changed yet, we need to match that stuff up. If you got a divorce, vice versa need to be able to match those doctors. Number eight, y'all, the thing that you don't want to forget, of course, you know you got to bring enough medicine to last you for the duration of your cruise, right. but also you want to add in maybe another extra week mm -hmm. just in case, you know, we, you know, fingers crossed that nothing don't happen, right. but you just be prepared just in case something do happen. That's it. Number nine. Now, this is for all of our tech people, the people that do like we do, like we secure, like it's Fort Knox around here. Yeah. If you have like um, two-step verification on your emails or anything like that, this is a time where you may want to go ahead and disable that feature. I know we feel a little vulnerable yeah. without it, <laughs> but the thing of it is, if you get your verification sent to your phone to get into your emails, you're not going to be able to get that verification yeah. like that if you're on a cruise ship and you possibly could be locked out of your emails or something very important, your bank account, just mm. because you can't access your phone. Yeah. So this is the time to think about those things where you do have that, that two-step verification going on because 
you, you may have to turn it off. Yep. All right, man, number 10 thing that you don't want to forget is to schedule your transportation, mm. whether that's to the cruise port or whether that's to the airport. That's yes, right. Yeah. So make sure you get that done because you don't want to forget that. And you don't want to pay those surge prices. <laughs> <laughs> number 11, if you're going to be leaving your car at the airport, possibly look at any of the prepaid options that they have. You'll save a ton of money by prepaying for your um, parking before you even get mm -hmm. there. The 12th thing that you probably would not even think about is contacting your cell phone carrier and check to see if they have any international plans. Just in case you need to, you know, use your phone while you mm -hmm. import internationally, not have those high fees that they charge you mm. to use your phone. And the 13th thing is, you're gonna be gone a week. If your paycheck or something like that hits while you're on vacation, make sure that you have scheduled to have your bills paid yeah. or auto paid or something. Cause what you don't wanna do is come <laughs> back and your whole lights off. Yeah. We can't have your that. water shut off <laughs> and then how that look you come home and you don't spend thousands of dollars but you don't have no water yeah your lights off yeah your so make sure them, yeah make sure those bills pay make sure your bills are paid before you leave or on auto pay yeah please <laughs> please all right since you in the home stretch of your cruise a week out you might want to check out this video of the 12 things that smart cruisers should always pack to make sure your luggage mm -hmm. is right for this cruise and we're going to catch you in the next video peace, peace.